Hey everybody, I'm Stephen Michael. Welcome to another episode of Filmmaking for Dumbasses. In this episode, I would love to go over my first AC bag. I spent the majority of last year doing a lot of first AC work for a show on a major network. It was a lot of fun, learned a lot of things. I wanna show you what's in my AC bag and what helped me get through the days on set. Made my life a lot easier from when the DP asked for certain things and um, it just made my life easier when bringing up the camera and whatnot. So let's dive right into it. My probably most used tool on set is uh, the Allen keys, uh, when rigging the cameras up and putting things on there, I'm probably to tighten everything to get a nice, good, tight grip on the magic arms or whatever I'm rigging up to the camera. Probably gonna be using these. I keep two sets. Uh, you got your standard Allen keys and then you have your star Allen keys. So if you work with red cameras, Ari cameras, you know, there's certain screws that requires the star Allen key. So. I would get both. You can find both of these on Amazon. I don't think I got to do the normal spiel. You guys know you'll find all the links below in the description. Another one of my most useful tools on set is the T-Marks. You save yourself some time having to tape down the actor's spot, knowing where they have to stand in. When one tape is expensive, these you can just pick back up and reuse. They're heavy duty. They're, you know, they got some good weight, so they're not blowing all over the place. And you can have some that glow in the dark. I got a couple different colors for different actors. There's a few actors that like having certain colors and so on, depending where stage you are in Hollywood. But I have a handful just in case. T marks, they are a lifesaver. Right here, a Johnson leveler. You know, nowadays it doesn't seem like contractors can get floors right. <laughs> so everything's never leveled properly. So this comes in hand and you can just sit it right on top of the camera. You can sit it on the dolly track. You can sit it on just about anything and make sure you're getting a straight on shot. Uh, your shot's not crooked. And when you go on a post, you're like, what the hell? Sometimes the bubbles on the tripods are a little tricky to see or you on top of the cameras. So I just like to keep an extra one in my bag just in case. Another handy dandy tool, flashlight. I like to keep a flashlight in my bag. One, if we're working in dark places, it's easy for me to see inside my bag or to see the camera while I'm rigging it up. Or also like directors call for like an action scene or chase scene or depending, it could be any scene. They might want to flare. Flashlights make great flares in cameras as you can tell. So I like keeping a flashlight around. Uh, another thing in my AC bag, but well, once we get on set, it's usually on my waist is a blower. If you work on a camera, you know, dust and everything gets on these lenses very, very easily. So I just keep this uh, on my waist at all times. Uh, but when I'm not filming, it lives on my AC bag, so just easy access. Also, another thing I like to keep on my AC bag, keep it right next to the blower, hanging off to the side, is a good pair of bright tangerine gloves. Um, I like to get my hands dirty to keep the set moving quick. I also work in a lot of independent projects and a lot of independent films, so it requires all hands on deck sometimes and to get the lighting setups. You know, we're shooting a lot in a day sometimes. We're shooting like seven pages, eight pages. So to get the lighting setups and everything we need, sometimes gotta, I'm helping out as an extra grip and I don't like cutting my hands all up or dinging my hands. Sometimes it's just cold outside, so. These uh, come in handy. Something also that I use quite frequently on set is I like to keep a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver with me in my bag. This is perfect for tightening the screws on the bottom of the cameras. Um, instead of always reaching for the multi-tool, this is just much easier to grab. Same thing with the Phillips. We're screwing a lot of things in uh, a lot of times, so it's easy to keep these by. Uh, I like the small short guys because they fit in my bag nicely and they got a really, really good grip. So easy to tighten things. So the Bosch laser pointer, it's a great tool to have in your bag. This comes in use when you need to know the distance between a subject and your sensor, or if you need to know the distance between a ceiling and a floor or just anything in that case, it's a great way to get a quick measurement uh, without having to roll out your normal measuring tape. I keep one of those in the bag as well because technology just fell and just in case the batteries die or something and I didn't get a chance to change it, I have a backup and with the regular measuring tape. So that's in here as well. This is probably not my most used tool in the bag, but it does come in handy every once in a while when I'm placing a camera on a flat surface and I'm not, like I said, things aren't always level, right? So little wedges, they come in handy for 
uh, angling the camera, say you might even have a heavy lens on there or something, and you're like I said, you're laying it on a flat surface and you need to prop up. Vice grips. These are a lifesaver as well because like I stated previously, we're constantly tightening things on set. And then there's times where we tighten things just a little bit too tight and we need to loosen it up. So these are perfect for that. Or say we need to get a better grip on a washer or something. These are, these are perfect for gripping small screws, washers, things like that, and getting a nice either tight grip on it or loosening things up without hurting your hands. So headlamp, this is, I'm not going to put it on right now, but this is similar to the flashlight. If I need both my hands and I'm looking at my bag and just kind of prop this on top of my head and, you know, look inside my bag or if I'm walking around on set, like we're doing a night scene and we didn't set up lights yet or whatever this is. And I need my hands. This is just easy to throw on my head. So I still have visibility of the scene and everything that's going on. Uh, safety first. You don't want to just be walking around in the dark. So get yourself a little cheap headlamp and keep it in your AC bag as well. This may seem simple, but uh, very useful. Keep a pen on you, a uh, pen and a marker. Actually, you're constantly writing on your AC tape to put on the memory cards to send to the DIT. Uh, so they know what memory cards they're using or what role they're on and so on. And also great for writing your name on coffee cups and water bottles. So save the environment pair of scissors great for cutting gels and just about anything else you need on set trust me you're gonna somebody's gonna call for scissors and you'll thank me that you have it in your bag you'll be the cool guy on set that day i also have a bunch of camera screws that i keep in my bag so just in case something falls off the camera or something strips uh i have a little case of backup so a variety of things in here so i'm not gonna go over every little screw in here but i'll put a link in the description yeah, I, I suggest grabbing one of these too because it's it's always a pain in the ass when you're trying to mount a plate to a camera or mount something to a camera and you don't have the proper screw. So I keep a case in my bag just in case. Map box tags. Uh, this is something I've added to my bag recently and what map box tags are. So you'll put this as you change the filters inside the map box. Say we're shooting on HBM seven stops of ND or five stops of ND or whatever. I'm just throwing things out here in a polarizer and you're moving from shot to shot you're moving from scene to scene you you want to remember your filtration that you're using from shot to shot just in case you ever have to go back for something so uh what these are they're little map box tags that you know lets me know what i have in the map box at the time whenever i look over like and and i want to match a look or change a look it's just something easy to reference to it's easy to look at and see what you have in in your map box instead of always trying to remember what you have in there so when it's time to change it you change one of these i actually found these on etsy support owner some artists out there and i add a little velcro strips to the back so they're just easy to peel on and off of the map box these are very useful the dp loved them and uh i'm very fond of them too because it's like i said it's easy to keep track of what's in and out of the map box Backup charger uh, for the cell phone. Do a lot of BTS pictures. I might need to view some stuff on my phone like as an extra monitor. And I also have kids, so I need to usually keep my phone by me and keep a backup charger in here. And someone else is usually asking for a charger on the set, so I like to keep one and buy. I keep a manual focus in my bag because like I said before, technology fails. There's times we're on set where we don't have the budget for an RE follow focus, RE motors and whatnot, top of the line motors. And we're working with Tilta motors, no shade to Tilta. I think Tilta makes some awesome products, but there's also times where the motor fails or it's not responding. So I have a manual focus. So instead of like sometimes wasting time trying to figure out the motor in order to get the shot, uh, the DP or the camera operator might have to pull the focus. So what I have right here is a Tilta manual focus. And it's, uh, I love this guy right here because it is adjustable. If it's any lens, I love the breathing on it. Um, it's very smooth, not noisy at all. It's a great follow focus when you need to pull manual. Bongo ties. <laughs> you can't have enough bongo ties. Uh, these are great. So whenever the sound guy's coming over, like, where can I rig up my time code box or my tentacle? These things come in handy. You rig it right up to the camera and no more sound guy problems or other attachments. Little baby clips. So these are great sometimes. The gaffers are stealing them off my bag. 
They use them for like gels, clamping things. I use them for like a lot of paper, clamping paper to things, um, soft and light. We do a lot of rigging and filmmaking. So when we have to rig up, like I said, mainly gels and uh, paper and stuff like that. But that's where these, these things come in. Laser pointer. <laughs> this just makes communication a lot easier on set. Sometimes when we're out in the field and we're in a room and instead of walking all the other side of the room or something on the ceiling, I need to point at to the gaffers or I need to let someone know like what I need. These are, these are great. Or if you're doing an action scene and you need uh, a gun with a laser and the gun's not in the shot, these are, they also come in handy for that. So laser pointers for, I guess, when you want to be lazy and don't walk over to what you're explaining. Next thing in my back, we're almost there. People we're almost done. I'm getting to the end of it here. Uh, but another thing in my bag, I like, uh, these are probably my favorite magic arms. These are made by small rig. These things are tough. Old magic arms, uh, the old designs before they, you rig it up and you, I know you guys are used to it. You're just seeing things always falling over this bad boy. I've yet to see it fall over and yeah, I love this thing. So I keep a couple of these in my bag for hooking up transmitters and receivers monitors just about anything these things i love them backup mp battery just in case keep the backup mp battery in here for like transmitters monitor things like that last couple things in here guys i want to talk about is also a couple zeiss wipes lens wipes keep the lens clean of like smudges and fingerprints things like that same with a little paintbrush uh, get the dust off and get sand off. I kind of like this a little bit more than the cloth. I feel like with the cloth a lot, the cloth also leaves a lot of residue behind. So cloth can be a little annoying. Cleaning fluid, I think it's self-explanatory. You guys all clean lenses before, I'm sure you have. So keep this in here as well. You probably won't find the next couple of things I name in other ACs bags, but I keep them in here for myself because it, the bag's about keeping me comfortable on set. So we all work long hours on sets, uh, long, long hours. They can they can range from, luckily things have kind of been shorter. People have been sticking in like 10 hour sets now. The standard is usually 12 hours on set, uh, but there's days where you're doing sometimes 16 hours on set, sometimes even longer with overtime and so on. We're getting our hands dirty, like, you know, to make this, this beautiful piece of art. You know, we're human. Sometimes we start to smell bad, so I keep, I keep a stick of deodorant here as well, just in case. Not sponsored by Dove. I just don't like to smell musty around people. We also just kind of got out the time of COVID. Not really, people are still getting it, but we're, I keep a pair of masks in my bag just in case. Just in case I have a cough and I don't want to give it to anybody else or someone else got us a cough. I got a couple of masks I keep in my bag. And if you know me, I go to a chiropractor every once in a while and he recommended me getting lidocaine patches for my back. So I also keep that in my bag. After carrying camera equipment or carrying equipment all day for stands and whatnot, this is a lifesaver on the back. Helps relieve the pain. So I recommend going to a chiropractor and getting yourself some of those. One thing I don't want to forget is I also keep a little thing of hand sanitizer here. Cause sometimes we're out. We can be in the woods. We can be in fields. We can be anywhere and we don't always have access to bathrooms or plumbing. So I keep this on my bag and this has been a lifesaver more than once, not for just me, but also the whole crew during lunch and so on. So, so that's just about everything I keep in my first AC bag. I decided to go with Cobalt. This is just much easier. I'm not a carpenter in the construction, so I forget what they call this handle, but I like the handle that floats back and forth like this. It just makes it easier going in and out the bag. It's durable. It has a bunch of little pockets and straps on the inside. So that just makes putting things in here a lot easier and keeping it organized. So not sponsored by any of these guys. These are just the products that I use on set that like to keep me comfortable and make my life and job a lot easier. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope the year has been good to you guys so far. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell in the corner for notifications. I plan on dropping a lot more this year. Uh, my goal this year is consistency. And no matter what I'm doing, it's just making time and getting more stuff out there. So this is Stephen Michael. This is Filmmaker for Dumbasses. Thanks for watching.